20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, before I start this video, I really wanted to say thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. Wow, that is unbelievable. Your support is what keeps me going. Thank you so much. Time for the video. Okay, how to mix between different BPMs or how to transition from a slow track to a fast track or vice versa while DJing. These are the kind of questions that I keep getting from my subscribers. So today I'm here to teach you just that. But trust me, nobody on the internet actually gives you these tips that I'm about to share with you. So watch this video till the end. Let's go. Hello there DJs of YouTube, my name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials, tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Talking about subscribers, YouTube tells me that only 20% of my viewers are actually my subscribers. So if you're watching this video, I strongly request you to please subscribe. That really supports this channel and whatever I do here for you all. Okay, mixing different BPMs. There are a lot of videos about this online and they all are missing one very important thing. And so today, before I show you how to do all these transitions, first, I'm gonna tell you a very important tip and that is gonna make this whole thing very easy to do. So listen to what I'm gonna say now. When you're mixing different BPMs, the track that you choose to transition from one BPM to another is more important than the transition that you do to get to the other BPM. Did you get it? Okay, let me say this in Hindi as well for my Indian subscribers. Jo gana aap BPM change karne ke liye choose karoge, wo gana ka selection us transition ya mix se zyada important hota hai. Thik hai? You may do the best technically correct transition matching bar to bar, but if you select the wrong tracks to mix into, whatever you did to do the transition is gonna go for waste. So choosing the right tracks to mix is almost half of the job that you do when you're jumping different BPMs. The transition is just an effect that you can do in a million different ways as a DJ. Okay, now let me tell you how to choose the right tracks. Think of your tracks as a surprise and people love surprises. So your job here is to choose the tracks that people remember the second you play it out of nowhere as a surprise. Let me play some examples for you. Oops, did you get that? The second I played that, you knew which track this is. Let me show you a few more examples like that. How about this one? That's right. Now let me show you some in Bollywood genre as well. There you go. One more. See, all these tracks have one thing in common. The second you play it, everyone knows what these tracks are. Oh, and by the way, all of the tracks that I'm gonna use in this video will be available for a free download. So please watch this video till the end to know how you can get your hands on these files. Or you can also check the description box. The instructions will be mentioned there as well. So choose the right tracks and add them to the playlist. So when you're in the middle of your set and you have to move to a song with a different BPM, you will not have to think too much. What I also do is add the text BPM change to such tracks so I can simply type BPM change and all those tracks will show up. Also make sure that you add enough songs from multiple genres so that you can move or transition to a different genre if that's required. Okay, let me show you an example for a retro popular track. Okay, let me show you one for rock. Okay, how about some old school hip hop? Okay, apart from adding these songs which are immediately recognizable, what you will also have to do are add tracks which have a breakdown with an impact sound like or those will be some great cue points to transition to a different BPM or track. Lastly, you will also need to add a few tracks that automatically transition from one BPM to another. Here are the few examples. All right, as you can see, this track here starts at 128 BPMs. and it actually goes into 100 BPM. Okay, and this track here is again at 128 BPM. But it actually goes into 102 BPM. All 
all right? Now, if you noticed one thing, all these tracks are immediately recognizable the second you play them. And that I think should be the first step and that is knowing what to play. Then comes the transitions. Now, let me show you all the transitions and how to jump from one BPM to another. But before I show you these transitions, if you guys are getting any value from this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. Also, if you really want to support me further, what you can also do is click on that applaud button, which is right next to the share or the save button and buy me an applaud. That will directly support me and the channel. Thank you so much. Moving to the transitions. Okay, now that we have all our tracks ready, let me show you a few ways to jump different BPMs. So first I'm going to give you five easy ways of doing this, which any beginner DJ can do. And then I'm going to show you three pro DJ ways that requires a little bit of a skill, but I'm sure you can actually do this with some practice. Let's start with the easy ones first. The first one is called the breakdown transition. This is not just easy, but it sounds way better than all the other different transitions that I'm going to show you. And it requires zero mixing skills. Here are a few examples. All you have to do is play the second second track few seconds after the impact sound of the first track this is how you do it okay. fast to slow fast to slow and now slow to fast. Make the trumpets blow. The trumpets blow. What you can also do is if you have two tracks with that impact sound, you can actually play them together at the same time. And that also will work. Let me show you how to do that. Make the trumpets blow. Trumpets blow. Namaste, Ben or Hayu. Now let's talk about the second easy method and that is the spin back transition. I personally don't use this because I don't really like it, but this is how you do it. It's simple. Just touch the platter and spin it back at the ending of a phrase and play the next track. You can actually move from any track to any track using this transition, but professional DJs don't really use this because this doesn't sound polished. Okay, now let's talk about the third easy way and that is called the pause break transition. This one's extremely simple. All you do is press the pause button and that will break the track and then you just play the next track. Here's an example. And that is extremely simple, right? This is one of the most laziest way of transitioning from one track to another. And quite a lot of people like it actually. Okay, now let's talk about the fourth method and that is the echo out or the reverb out transition. Again, this one's simple. Make sure that both the faders are up and just apply the echo or the reverb at the end of the existing phrase and then play the next track while bringing the first fader down. Here's an example. You can actually do this with all the other transitions as well and that will add a little extra flavor to your transition. Now the fifth method is just by using the transition tracks. This is the easiest and it also sounds the most professional. Let me show you an example. 
All you need to do is choose tracks that automatically transitions from one BPM to another and then mix them together. All you need to do is choose tracks that automatically transitions from one BPM to another and then mix them together. So there you have it. Those were five easy ways of transitioning from one track to another with different BPMs. But now it's time to talk about a few creative and professional ways of doing this. I'm gonna give you three pro transitions, but that is gonna require a bit of a skill, but I'm sure with practice, you can definitely do this. Let's go. Pro tip number one, using the sync button as a tool, going up or down from track A to track B using sync. Let me show you. The track on the left deck is the master track and that is the track which is currently playing. The BPM of the track is 128 BPM. What you have to do first is to change the tempo range to wide. Now you will have to press the sync button on the next track which is currently at 104 BPM and you will see that it will change to 128. Now all you need to do is play the second track at the beginning of a new phrase and then move the tempo fader of the track 1 down till about 104 BPMs. And this is how that will sound. You see that is how you can move from a fast track to a slow track. Now let me show you another example where you go from a slow track to a fast track. I hope you guys like that. This transition will definitely require some skill. So please practice at home before you try this in the club or on the floor. Time for pro tip number two and that is wordplay transitions. This is actually really easy but I don't know why beginner DJs don't do this. I've seen only pro DJs do this. It's actually called the wordplay technique. Okay, the track in deck one is Hotline Bling and that has a word called you. Ever since I left the city, you. And then the second track also has the word you at the beginning. You. So what you do is play track one and just play track two at the beginning of the word you and use the you word as the transition. Let me show you how that sounds. So this is like an easy way to transition from one BPM to another. You can also use this transition to move from one genre to another genre. You can also try adding loops with this technique, but that gets a little complicated. But let me show you how to do that. All I did there was I created a loop using the loop in and loop out button and then played the next track over the loop using the wordplay technique. Okay, pro tip number three. And since we're using loops now, let me show you one last transition using loops. This is a bit unique. Let's go. So there you have it. I showed you eight different ways of transitioning from one track to another. I can actually show you a lot more, but that will make this video very long. But if you noticed, all the transitions only sounded great because of the track you chose to play next. And that is when the crowd really reacts. 
The transition really depends on the DJ. Many DJs, pro DJs use scratching as a technique to transition from one track to another with different BPMs. But ultimately, the people only react to the track that you mixed into. So make sure that is where you invest your time and that is to do the homework and mark all the tracks that are great to transition from one BPM to another or one genre to another. Now, as I mentioned earlier, all the tracks that I used in this video are available for free download. All you need to do is send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram handle is DJ the Bhamra. Follow me and send me a message and ask me for these BPM change tracks. And I will send you a link for free download. That's it. That's how easy it is. All you need to do is follow me on Instagram, send me a message and all these files can be yours for free. Mark them and add them to a playlist so that it's easy to find them when the moment is right. There are a lot more easy ways. One such way is by using the mic. All you can do is just use the mic and then announce something funny or just wish someone happy birthday or just announce that this track is for someone special and then just play the track. That can be another great way of transitioning from track A to track B. But that I think is very simple and I'm sure you can actually figure that out yourself. If you didn't, here you go. All right, that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today and that you guys got to learn something new. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your DJ friends. And while you're at it, it'll be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and hit on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you really think I added value to you, please go ahead and also click on that applaud button and buy me an applaud. That will directly support me and this channel. All right, that's been it. Once again, thank you all for 20,000 subscribers. My name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy to help. 20,000 subscribers!